Hi guys, my name is Hanne and I am the founder of Flow for Break Yoga and Movement here in Vintertour. Today, I'm going to teach you 30 minutes vinyasa class. The class is themed around surrender and effort. These two poles which we all have, these two poles which much of our life and even the movement of the yoga mat often circulates around. The yang pole, the effort pole of doing and creating and fulfilling and pursuing is probably, myself included, for many of us, the pole which is the most active most of the time. But we do all have this other pole of surrender, of yin, of letting go and trusting and being with what is. And today we're going to dance between these two poles. Yeah, if you're not a dancer, don't worry. I'm also not a dancer. We're not really going to dance. We're going to dance. We're going to move. We're going to figure out the way between the poles, how they interact. And how we don't become too addicted to surrendering. Because if we just desperately want to surrender, we're actually creating effort. And that's kind of a paradox of a dilemma. So how do we do that? Well, we try to our best to do no mind movement. We're gonna be flowing, we're gonna be moving, we're gonna be enjoying ourselves. So step onto your mat, come into downward facing dog, and let's begin. Good, hands come shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart. Let's walk out the dog here these first few breaths. Ujjayi breath activates, yeah? If it's difficult for you to find the length in your upper body, then instead of straightening out the legs, we're gonna bend the legs and then we're gonna work on the length of the upper body first and foremost. You're gonna do this every time you come into your dog if you need to. Long deep breath. If you're reaching the heels for the mat and start finding your stillness there, and then plug into your core as you lift the bottom of the ribs in the direction of your hips. Good. With your next exhale, just walk your hands back to your feet, bend your knees as much as you need to grab opposite elbows, just wave your whole right doll pose. Take these first few movements, these first few asanas to arrive here. Yeah. Inhaling, come halfway up, hands come down onto the mat, onto the shin bones, lift the belly button high. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, come all the way up to stand, press through your feet, lift up the core, reach your arms around. Hands in front of the heart. And then one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Grounding down through the feet, all four corners grounding. Tailbone long and then shoulders onto the back and away from the ears. Grounding firmly but reaching tall. Working with these two poles and poles. The poles are pulling apart. Soften the jaw. And the mouth and throat. So as we start to arrive a bit more and arrive a bit more in our Ujjayi breath, just notice what's there. Don't force yourself to turn off the mind straight away. Allow the mind to turn off by you realizing what's going on in there. Not meaning you have to interact, into in, engage and entertain every single thought that is in there and interact with it. Just meaning you realize that it's there and then you make the active choice, you do the effort of coming in to your practice. to lower to the knees, push through the hands, and then exhale. 
exhale, draw the right knee forward. Inhale out. Other side, exhale left. Press through the hands. Work with the limbs. Limb. So reach through the tailbone, through the crown of the head. Soften the jaw and open. Right and left, one more time. Good. And set the right foot forward with the left. Follow, inhale halfway up. Exhale, forward, fold. All the way up to stand. Press through the feet, lift the core. We'll do sun salutation A here. And before you start flowing, just move through your sun salutation with the awareness, just noticing what's going on. Oh, oh my body is kind of in a rush, or I'm not breathing. Just checking in with what's already there. This is your chance to check in with where you're at. Doesn't mean that where you're at is good or bad or neutral. Just means that's where you're at. And from there, when we connect with that, from there we can move towards something more than that. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway on the inhale. Lift with the core, reach the crown of that forward. Come back to your plank. Inhale. Exhale a little bit forward and exhale all the way down to the mat this first time. Let's visit Cobra three times. Inhale. Three the stance between the breath and the body, meaning no mind movement. The mind might want to dictate when and how and how fast we move, but actually it has nothing to say for the next long time here. Facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And if the mind starts to chatter, just realize that that's what's going on inside of you right now. And then make the choice of coming back. That's a part of checking in with where you are at right now. It's not who you are, it's just how you're doing right now. Exhale, bend the knees, lift heels, look forward, walk or step. Inhale, halfway up, forward fold, all the way up to stand up, pursuing any goal here. Exhale, inhale, open. Half up on the inhale, back to plank, step. Inhaling all the way or halfway down. Shoulders do not go below the elbows. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. And then back to downward facing. Five rounds of breath. Jump back to plank, land with bent elbows, cobra up facing, and then back to downward facing. Five rounds of breath, checking in what's there. And then a 
and exhale, heel, sniff, knees, bend, walk, step, jump. Inhale, come halfway up. And down. And all the way up. One hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Closing the eyes. Inhale, nose, exhale, mouth. to realize hopefully eventually through this practice that we don't have to force a way through life through projects at work through relationships we can reach all our goals but still staying soft just like water this picture I love to imagine water streaming when I'm interacting with this topic of effort and surrender Water will shape the hardest stone over the length of time, but water always stays fluid, moving, and soft. Today, you're going to be water. Opening the eyes, softening mouth, jaw, throat from the inside out. And then finally, inhale to grace the mouth of fingertips, come into Utkatasana. And then exhale, hands on the thighs. Inhale, cat cow here. Send the chest forward, shoulders onto the back. Exhale, round. And then opening in the heart from the front side. And then exhale, opening the back gate into the heart, in between the shoulders. long spine, reaching the arms up, maybe lifting the heels off the mat, soften the jaw, soften the gaze, you are water, yeah? even though you're strong, exhale, lower the heels, inhale, stand up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway up, step the left foot out behind you, come to a lunge, on the knee, on the toes, high lunge or low lunge, inhale, reach up. Then open the arms apart, turn the palms up, then move the hands behind the shoulder line. So you squeeze the shoulder blades a bit together, lifting the chin just a little bit without collapsing, in, co collapsing the skull into the shoulders. Keep that lift on the back side of the neck. And then exhale, hands in front of the heart, rounding. Inhale, opening. Yes, we're dancing here. Exhale, fluid movement, just like water. Inhale, open. And then exhale, close. Keep the hands in front of you. Stand up tall. Take the arms up. Inhale. And then warrior two. Exhale. Yeah. Adjusting the feet so the front heel is in line with the inner arch of the back foot. Inhale, coming back up here, back over. Good, breathe. Stay deep in that right knee. Keep sitting into the right hip. Good. Five, and inhale to lift yourself up. And then exhale, elbow onto the knee. Yeah, arm up, or maybe arm over, pass by Konasana. Take the weight out of that bum shoulder. Feet are grounding. Another inhale, all the way up and back in. Stay seated in that right knee. And then exhale, all the way to pass back on asana. Good, dancing, inhaling, waving here. And exhaling. You can go to the elbow, of course you can go further down if you feel warm. Yeah, breathing here and then coming down all the way up and back one more time. Good, wiggle the hands around, plank, chaturanga, option to keep the right leg flying. And then come back, now it's 
facing dog. We'll all lift the heels, we'll all bend the knees. We'll just move the hips around here, however it feels intuitive to you. And you are at home, yeah? We don't have an audience, and so it's actually easier to tell yourself that it doesn't really matter how it looks. You just make it feel amazing. Who cares how this looks? So we'll change the direction if you're doing circles, so we circle both ways. You can be big and dramatic or small in concept. Good, and then down facing dog. With the next heel, the knees look forward, walks jump to the top. Halfway up on the inhale. Forward and down. All the way up. Good exhale, hands to heart. Grace the mat with fingertips in here. Good. Breathing here, lift the heels, sit them deeper down, opening the arms. If your bend is up for a dual back bend here, yeah, maybe you need to lower the hips with lifting the heart. If the gaze is up for it, we can lift it, the bend is up for it. Good. And lower the heels, come up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway on the inhale. Right foot steps out behind you, launching on the knee or the foot. Do the same variation you did on the other side. Yeah, sit down, bring the left hip back and the right hip forward, open the arms. Start leaning backwards here. You lift the chest, but you keep the tailbone long. So we're not back bending in the lower back. Yeah, we're opening the heart. That is a back bend. Breathe. Good. Inhaling here. And then exhale to round, arms out in front. Inhale, open. Glorious opening of the whole front side of your chest. Inhaling, surrender into the movement. Surrender into the effort so that the effort becomes a sense of surrender. Good. Then from here, open the arms. Do warrior two as you sit down here. Yeah, table long. And then from here, take it back up into proud warrior. Inhale, stay for a little bit. Connect the little toe side of this back foot firmly to the mat. And then inhale, come up. Lengthen out the whole left side and then turn it into Paswar Konasana. Both feet are firmly grounding. Yeah, big toe of the front foot and a little toe side of the back foot. Ground the little toe side of the back foot that much so you can feel the activation for the back inner thigh. Inhale all the way up and back. You know where we're going here now. Maybe if you dance, the dance your body needs to dance, not the dance your mind thinks you should dance. It doesn't have to look like anything. It has to feel amazing.
Good, and then return into a neutral spine. Sit down on your heels, unbend the toes. Make sure you reach back, make sure to underbend the little toes side as well. Yeah. Keep the heels quite close together. And then energetically keep sending energy out through your heels. Yeah, make sure that your the bottom of your ribs aren't just flashing forward here, but they are being brought back into space so that the tailbone can lengthen. Good. Breathe here, hands behind the head, elbows open, inhale, lean back into into your hands, open the elbows, exhale around. And they open. Yeah, if you need to come off the feet before I tell you to, then of course do that. This is all about what you need. I'm just here guiding you, but you need to listen and learn to listen to yourself. Good, and from here we'll come off, we'll place the hands, we'll just wiggle out the toes and feet, a little bit of ankles. And inhale in through the nose and then vibrate the lips with the exhale. Do that a couple of times, just sit back here. And again, you're at home doing this, just make a count. Then fold forward a little bit, move over to the left hand, left hand behind you, lift the hips, inhale. Exhale, rounding forward, over to the other side, inhale. Yeah, exhale, transferring, dancing from side to side. If it doesn't feel good to lift as high as the hips, you don't lift the hips, you lift the heart. Surrendering into the movement. Super. One more time, over to the other side. And then from here, we sit down, we plant right hand out to the right, come up on that knee, the right knee, then we extend the left leg out, it's short from the side, we reach over here, growing longer and longer in this whole left side, maybe looking up under. Good, and crawl towards that left foot, bend the knee, so the heel and the knee are more or less in line, lean the hips, Watch the midline, yeah? Make sure you're not sitting too much back. Lean the hips forward. Good, come into the center. Now the left hand out to the side. Come to stand on your left knee. Reaching out, 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 out. Reaching out for the whole right side. And enough space. And then come out of this, bend into the right knee, lean the hips a bit forward as you lean the hips in between the heel and the knee. Good, and then you come out of this, you come to all fours, we leave the knees and line with the hips as we walk the hands forward. And find melting heart pose, moving forward and hard in the direction of the mat, maybe one of them or both of them touch. Only on your own, you're very open. Place your chin in the mat so you can look forward. Again, it's absolutely uh, without any value how it looks, it matters how it feels. Good. Coming back up here, placing the hands. We're setting up for headstand. If you don't have headstand in your practice, if you don't feel safe in headstand, I don't want you doing headstand at home because it can really injure your neck. If you know where you're going, you can go upside down in headstand. You can do all the funky necks you feel like and just stand still. 
If you don't have headstand in your practice, we'll do dolphin pose instead. Yeah? Breathing here, forearms in the, in the mat, building up some shoulder strength and some release for the shoulders as well. Walking the feet maybe a little closer in, maybe one leg goes up. Yeah, and then when it comes down, the other leg comes up. And then no matter where you're at, you stand or not, we're all going to make our way down. And we'll meet up eventually, lying on our back. Sukta Bhattakonasana, soles of the feet together, knees out to the sides. Hand on the belly, hand on the heart. Softening, laugh, jaw, throat from the inside. Surrendering. Breathing here, just some sweet, spacious, creating breaths. Letting go of your hips. Water is soft, but strong. It adjusts to the surroundings, but it stays the same. You know, over the course of time, water will shape a rock. rock which is hard and rigid gets shaped by something soft and moving and fluid. You are water. That's what you are. Take the hands, the thighs, help the knees to come back up and then walk the heels a bit closer in. Up, interlace the hands below who you are on the mat. Keep looking up. So if you need to look at me at the video now, you lower the hips down so we don't have that stress on the neck before you turn your head. And then you walk the shoulders closer together and stay here, lifting the hips. You could also hold on to your ankles. So lift the hips without any knees. Open out to the sides. Soften the jaw. Maybe watch your breath here as it makes your belly grow and makes your belly lower back down in space again. And then lower down. Good. Do another Sukta Bhattakonasana, just letting the spine settle back into its more natural curve. hips over to the right side a little bit lift place them there let the knees fall over to the left side open the arms to a T and only if it's okay for the neck you can turn it over maybe we can move this right leg higher if you can hold with the left hand just keep this right shoulder blade in the mat the whole time Good. And then from here, come back to the center, lifting the hips a little bit over to the left side, and then do your twist to the other side. Good, then come back to the center, hips fight their way back to the center, and the legs move out, yeah? If you don't have space or it doesn't feel good on your lower back or hips for this next one, you're just going to place the feet on the floor and just let the knees fall to one side and then the other. Maybe you're going to do these half circles, just letting the legs move from side to side, drawing this half circle around you. Down deep breath. One more time each side. And then come back to the center. Yeah, just 
Nok for en shavasana her, hvor vi du en lille shavasana pose, just to settle in, creating all that effort, and then surrendering into the echo of the movement leaves in your body and breath. And then place your feet on the floor, just the right leg up, and place the hands behind, just point your toes down, the hands can be on the hands of thigh or higher up. If you feel like the space is there, you can extend this left leg out, just keep this left foot active. And if the space is there, you can lift up in the direction of this right leg, and then lower down, take the right ankle over the left knee, and place the hands behind the left thigh, or maybe in front of the left chin. Really soften the jaw, surrender. Listen to what your practice, your body, your breath has to tell you, if it has something to tell you. Yeah? Try not to hunt, try not to create an effort of seeing the answers. Try to let themselves reveal themselves to you by you surrendering into their wisdom. Left leg goes up, and place the hands behind somewhere. If the space is there, extend that right leg. Maybe lift off the head so the nose comes close to the leg. Shoulders creep out of the ears though. And then lie down, bridge line, figure four, pose crossing, lift ankle over right. And place the hands behind the thigh, in front of the shin. And then let it go. Find your shavasana. letting everything open, take up the space you feel like taking up in the way you feel like taking it up. Make sure the tailbone is long, that the shoulders are out of the ears, and then you can close your eyes there. As the breath moves through your body, become aware that you can now let go of Ujjayi breath. Allow yourself to surrender into the softness that you, at all times, all times of your life, of your practice, also possess the softness. Let it take over mouth, jaw, throat, and beyond that. Watch the breath as it comes in, maybe with this image of water being soft yet strong. See how your breath moves you just like the waves of the ocean. You have the time to stay longer then please do stay longer else you start breathing more with more awareness with more effort you start moving fingers toes wrists and ankles and then eventually stretch the arms overhead go for the long stretcher legs and the feet 
Roll it over to one side. And then eventually pushing yourself up to sit. Finding your way to a cross-legged seat, closing the eyes. And the rest of the day, remember every time you become aware of your breath, you have this wave, this reminder inside of you. You're soft, you're strong, you're calm and courageous. You can do everything, you can surrender. Keep your eyes open. Namaste.